All right, guys, we are here. It is already time for the grand finals of the second qualifier of Sunder Saturday. Gosh, I just got off work, guys, so um, sorry if I'm a little uh, not uh, at my usual, but um, as you can see, we got Glizzy deciding to land in purple zone, getting that little additional loot there um, just for, you know, a bit of extra pressure and all sorts of uh, good reasons like that. They also get some shields off spawn, so... Always going to be a super helpful way to start off your game there. Uh, as you can see, you can see uh, DSTYB there. Uh, that's two young Benja and uh, I assume uh, got to be King Better there most likely. Um, going to be playing on teammate there. Landing at their old classic uh, kind of home base there, Hydro Plant. So um, definitely exciting to see there. Um, but besides that, there's like a split down the middle besides Team Aku. And then everyone else is uh, kind of either on the north side or on the bottom side of the map here. Uh, going to be interesting to see who comes out on top. We're going to go towards... Uh, I saw them fighting somebody earlier here. <clears throat> Looks like they've uh, disengaged at some point. Yeah, look at that. They're hiding, fighting in uh, the institution. That's where they were. Uh, but it looks like they've managed to disengage there, get out, and uh, relocate. So not doing uh, too much to worry there. The rest of the uh, fug there. Just looking for some loot and trying to find a uh, good spot in the game there. Oh, we see some kills on the kill feed there. Oop, wrong button. Oop, where's my tab? Where's my tab not coming? Okay, well, we'll just follow them. So it doesn't want to come. Okay, so we're just doing it full manually. Actually, we'll just do an auto spec hit because it's not doing. It's not gonna show my tab. Is it gonna show my tab? Okay, it. We'll, we'll go. We'll go man, uh, manual mode here. Um, we see Bionics uh, looking to get to, you know some angles maybe onto Team Five there. They've landed up in the upper right corner there. Um, can't press tab, so you can't see who it is. They KS there. Um, landing in the upper uh, right corner there. Get some shields usually off, uh, off the rip there, and you can't really go too wrong with that there as well. <clears throat> and we're also moving over to uh, Pioneer Square, where we uh, see that it looks like Darks has already lost a player um, to Hollow. Um, we've got Goat, Chicken, and Dinosaur there. Um, my brother likes to refer to them as uh, Dino Nuggies because, uh, you know, Dinosaur and Chicken. Uh, we do see the last, or one of the last players from uh, from Darks trying to disengage using the uh, Phantom Invisibility to, to get some distance between them. Uh, but there's also another player together with him um, getting taken out there, finished off, and uh, unfortunately for uh, Darks, they're going to have only one player left, and they're going to be in uh, kind of catch-up mode trying to get back into the game. And they've got uh, some maybe some eyes on to uh, Deimos here. They definitely got some sh for some shots here. Um, going to be pushing in uh, as two right now. You're going to see Chicken and Goat pushing up. Um, they've got a little bit of a catch-out onto one of the players there. Uh, you're going to see Terra getting taken out there, however. Uh, managing to get a shield swap there, so it doesn't look like they're gonna have a huge chance to recontest that one on uh, Deimos' side there right away. Um, but for Hollow, get some good crucial kills there. And, uh, we're moving over to the KS there. <clears throat> they're getting some good opening snipes there. They got the good damage onto uh, the Michelle, and it's just gonna be the Lucinda with pretty much one HP there, trying to take out Kata there. But no, unfortunately not. Uh, getting finished off with uh, the AK spray there, and uh, you know a couple other players. You can't really go too wrong when you have. Uh, you know, a little extra backup there, resing their captain and getting them back in the game. Oh, we got our tab menu back. We can take a look at how the kills are getting uh, spread out so far. We got three kills on the KS, three on Hollow. Obviously, the kills don't quite matter as much in these BO1 qualifiers, but it's uh, still exciting to see who's coming out here as the, as the most aggressive player. We see Bionics uh, pushing in there, uh, managing to get uh, a catch on to the uh, Sunil from Darks. Um, Spartacus, though, 1 HP, finishing him off there, but his teammate coming in there, that's Chris, finishing off Spartacus, and you're going to see the Phantom player uh, push up there and try to get a little bit of uh, cover there, but I don't think, yeah, there does not look like Bionix's uh, other player is in the area, so likely going to have a chance to get to continue themselves in this game there, um, but uh, probably feeling, uh, you know, all right there, knowing that they at least knocked one of the players there. Hopefully their teammate is uh, rotated out of there already. And we're back at Hollow there. Um, getting a little finish onto uh, one player there from Sia. Actually, both Boss, Yumi, and Chief getting taken out there. Um, I believe potentially a duo. Um, and they also got a player from MYNX4 there. Um, that's actually another uh, returning team uh, that uh, I don't think I've seen in a huge while. So um, definitely excited to see. Um, maybe we'll play in the LATAM or something along those lines. Oh, and a big opening beam there from Samurai. Taking out... Uh, the full HP of the 
uh, site, uh Ma Maggie trying to do their best to get a res, but pushing in here aggressively. You're going to see Samurai try to finish off this last player. And just like that, it's going to be uh, the full Darks lineup getting finished off there. You start off with a nice opening beam like that. It definitely gets things uh, sort started in a good way. Um, doing a great job in that 2v3 kind of situation there. And also getting uh, their teammate back up once again there. I think uh, that's the second time they've had to res the, uh, the captain there. But six kills to the name there. Just shortly... Just a couple, or just one kill short from uh, Hollow there, so definitely playing quite strong. Obviously, Hollow um, always playing very aggressively. All right, let's see if we can switch to spectate again, because that's way more fun. Yeah, we can. Okay, and um, we're gonna see they KS looking to rotate. You know, find a little bit more loot there. Um, I assume LTO there has lost uh, a good chunk of loot. Uh, to, uh, you know, dying a couple times there. So probably we're trying to get a little bit back more in there. We see the other Darks lineup, however, um, managing to stay alive there. Um, getting all three players left alive, uh, or three all three players uh, alive. And uh, this could be a good opportunity for these two teams to get into a fight here. Um, both teams having to ro rotate. The zone is pushing on their back here. So um, you might not see any action. You might, just because of the ability to um, have uh, the zone on your back, it's going to apply just a little bit more pressure. And that's always... Uh, a bit of a headache there, especially when you're on edge zone there. Um, and still have a little bit of a ways to go there. Looking like they've done a good job of avoiding each other there, not having to worry about getting an engagement. So we're going to see what else is around the map there. We see a player from Team 13 there. That's going to be Chamoy there, solo, playing in the center of the map. But uh, everyone else uh, seems to be pretty spread out there the only two teams that we really have in congestion are 11 and uh 14 there i actually want to go see what's happening over there we do see bionics all quite low there managing to get a res here what's happening on team 11 side here <clears throat> playing a bit of a heal off game here trying to stay alive it seems like they may have encountered the team and gotten a little bit sca uh, scared there and wanted to stay alive we see spartica still hiding uh, all puts fugged all around them there um hopefully it doesn't get caught out this is would be his chance to try to kind of jump a solo here if he was to go for it. He does get seen. He does use the fire to delay. I don't think you're going to see the... Oh my go goodness. A great shot from Rubber Ducky there. It might change things there. I was going to say you might not see uh, them push Spartacus because of the fire. But uh, when you hit that uh, big opening bar shot, it definitely changes things pretty easily. They do have a pretty decent rotate to get to zone here on Fug's side here. So you're probably going to see them have to... Uh, you know, use most of their meds on this rotate, which is going to be a little unfortunate, not uh, not super ideal. Um, we're going to take a look over here at Hollow, see what they're doing. They're all playing a little split, but not super split. They're trying to get a little bit of additional shields there. They've already got purples and seven kills to their name, so definitely feeling great about that already. Let's see. We see a knock over here on MYNX here. We got the last player here. Um, not there. Must have died over there, I imagine. Um, Itachi there, just uh, standing around, uh, hopefully playing for. There we go, a little bit, uh, a little bit more hidden right now. Um, and Darks probably, you know, finishing off that last uh, other MYNX player there. But a good chance for a res here. There is going to be a res over by PTSCR there, and there's also one on the other side of the mountain if uh, things don't, you know, fare as well for Itachi there. Let's take a look at Demos here. They've rotated down to the uh, bottom right corner. Uh, gonna be in storage base. Uh, getting a little bit of loot. No kills. No one seems to be around him right now. So, we'll take a look at this, this DSTYB here. Um, it's gonna be three kills on their name already. Um, playing. Oh, we saw a revive. We saw Bionics getting res there. Um, uh, Pink's coming out from Too Young here, making sure his team's aware of uh, the enemies. Uh, the shadow was the thing that gave him away. If anything, I'll be honest. I don't even think it was the. Uh, him seeing the players there. Um, you see uh, Spartacus and Zero Gravity rotating around uh, to the side there. Thankfully back in the game there. They've done a good job of staying alive and uh, as at least one player uh, on Bionic side there. So doing definitely having good, uh, you know, um, just survival instincts in general. Um, it's looking like uh, DTSDYB here might see uh, Fugged here. Yeah, they definitely have some eyes on uh, one of the players rotating in. So they're going to be ready to watch that window there. Um, Probably doing a little bit of a 3-2-1 type of thing here. Making sure that they can't peek. Blocking it off with the base blaster there as well. So definitely not going to peek here. They see Rubber Ducky and White here. Oh, missing a shot here with a stellar win. Um, doing what you can there.
and you can see uh, DTS, DSTYB there deciding to rotate their um, Fugs playing on the edge of the zone there. They don't have to uh, rotate a whole lot here with how the zone's moving, but they still do have to move, and that's going to be a little bit inconvenient. And as you can see, too young there, still trying to make sure that he's got uh, some vision on players there. He does see Spartacus on the high ground there. Bionic's getting uh, spotted out there. Um, thankfully for too young, or on t in terms of too young, not uh, watching too hard. Um, you hear DT DSTYB in the car there. That's definitely got to be a little concerning there. Um, doing a good job to watch around there and try to catch up these fugged players there. They haven't seen them yet there. Um, not holding an angle where they, they'd be visible. Oh, we see a scan come out. However, um, that's going to be uh, King Better getting the uh, vision on them there. But getting sniped back here. Fugged having two different angles there. Exile getting the off angle. I think hit two shots in a row there. Definitely making sure that uh, the rest of Exile having a little bit more opportunity to, uh, to play here. And you're going to see Benja popping his ult here, playing it uh, a little bit more forward here. Rubber Ducky using his ult there, um, getting the Ember ult out. Um, you're going to see Too Young fall back, try to get an Ember ult out of his, from himself. He does, and now it's going to be uh, their kind of playing field that they're playing with. Everyone uh, might just focus on rotates here instead of going for the fight, but you see uh, uh, the Michelle ult coming out on top there, getting a little bit of a, hopefully an angle on Fug there. And the Michelle scan coming out, definitely going to make sure that they have a good chance here. Going to use the base blaster to get a little bit of damage and block off that window with the smoke. Great usage of their utility, making sure that they don't have to worry about extra angles, uh, push, uh, taking them out while they push up there. Um, you're going to see White getting taken down to uh, White HP, um, trying to do his best to get away, but uh, actually managing to survive for a little bit longer there. Um, unfortunately, though, King Better finishing off that player. But uh, Fug still with two players left uh, on their lineup there, not feeling awful, I'd say. Um, there is still a couple teams around in the area for sure. Let's go take another look at Deimos there. It seems like they have some vision onto Fugged here. They're going to get some uh, some angles here potentially. Um, Exile going to be probably the first one to get contested here. A snipe coming out here, hitting one of the players there. A VSS beam coming onto Exile, getting uh, Phantom down to about 40 HP there. Going to be interesting to see if they can manage to finish off either Rubber Ducky or uh, the other player there. And Satona rotating into the building there, trying to get some some audio cues onto Exile, but I think Exile has done a good job of rotating there. That I don't think he's gonna get seen. Um, you're also seeing on the side there, Hollow pushing up there. That's not a team you want to run into there. So you're gonna probably see Demos trying to pressure away from there, or at least get some tags onto him to make them consider uh, looking at them during their rotate there. Um, and as you can see, Fugged once again getting another res there, all back alive. Um, do, taking the advantage of Deimos' rotate there to get uh, the res off is uh, definitely super ideal there. Uh, if you think, I think Hit White's going to get seen here by Chicken, however, and uh, continue on that aggressive. Yeah, we're going to see uh, Hit White getting taken out there, finished off by the Sniper, and uh, Hollow doing a great job of staying alive. Um, you're going to see Exile potentially getting pushed up onto, though, but... Um, the other player from Fugged getting a jump there. Exile playing for position there, getting ticked a little bit and scanned. Uh, you're going to see Rubber Ducky get pushed up on pretty aggressively here. Goat's getting the forward here, getting the damage on them. And uh, you're going to see the Emperor also come out here, making sure that uh, they have a little bit of time to heal and maybe get to a chance to fight in this act, uh, this fight here. Um, Exile completely disengaging. Hollow on the aggressive. Glizzy in the near here. Already on top right now. Managing to get an instant bar shot right away. Um, using the AK spray here. Coming out. Getting chicken. Um, definitely not what Hollow wants to see there. But definitely a great opening kill there for uh, the fight. Um, any of the other teams that were in the area are definitely feeling great about that. But they're doing... Uh, you see a vision erosion coming out here to stop the uh, res. And a base blaster to try to get some ticks there as well. To maybe try to get that re -knock, But... Uh, doesn't come out there. There's just so many angles that could potentially uh, affect uh, Glizzy here, so they've got to be scared. Great snipe coming out, getting chicken, finishing him off there, and you're going to see another snipe coming on to, uh, to Dinosaur there. Bak Bako getting real low there. Um, Notorious and Seb's in there, still playing with full HP. Um, you're going to see uh, Bako's here trying to just get uh, back into, uh, you know, firm, firm footing, but uh, you can't be firm footing when you're on your knees and you're knocked like that, so uh, you're gonna see Glizzy getting pushed uh, aggressively now, uh, most likely. And Deimos is just on their their side here, so they could have a little bit of a side angle here to potentially cause some chaos here. You're actually also seeing Fugged throwing in a uh, Phantom uh, AOE to get some damage there. Dinosaur getting taken out by the uh, spray of DSTYB there. 
making sure that Apollo doesn't have a chance in this qualifier. Um, Goat's the only player left alive, I believe, right now. <clears throat> He's going to take this chance to push up onto Exile here. We're going to see if he can come out on top here. Exile getting taken out there. Going to have a chance to get that heal off and maybe get some shields. Um, but getting pushed once again by the Phantom. And no! Too young with the side angle. Managing to get that finish off there. And it's just going to be uh, Glizzy standing right above Deimos here. Potentially an Emberall coming out here. We see Sebzin getting taken out there. Um, the, the smoke coming out here and the Vision Erosion. Just to be safe there. Get everyone back to full HP. We did see the other player from Glizzy push up. So definitely something uh, worthwhile going for right there. Um, going to be interesting to see how the team uh, managed to push up on this one here. We see Dark Sphere managing to loot up the a uh, good chunk of the loot that uh, Hollow dropped. They're probably feeling pretty great about that. And look at in the high ground here. We've got DSTYB, they uh, KS, uh, Fug, Glizzy, Rated E, all playing in from the high ground here. I'm um, trying to do their best to survive. Every alt coming out here. We see an Ember alt, uh, Vision Erosion come out. We see Michelle alt uh, to get the high ground there. But Ko's getting a, a little bit of HP crack there. Um, and there's just so much invisibility just trying to survive Chamoy uh, rotating around there and unfortunately for Notorious getting uh, into a engagement here with Samurai and getting taken out there. They KS uh, finishing off that I think the last player from Glizzy there and uh, not exactly what you're looking for there. Um, we'll try to look for some slightly better angles here. <clears throat> an overall image of what's happening in this situation here we see dstyb there um as a trio there they ks as a trio deimos as a i believe either solo yeah most likely a solo right now and uh, darks as a trio and then everyone else is solo so it's going to be interesting to see if any of these solos can manage to um you know cause uh, some chaos for any of these teams there satona getting beamed pretty aggressively and getting sniped again there as well there one hp they're using the uh the fade to try to stay alive, but moving into Ich uh, Ichijo, I don't think it's going to survive there, having le legitimately one HP. Oh, they're literally right next to each other. Do we get an angle on that? Oh, they don't know. Oh, they know now. Oh, they're scared. Oh my god, and the snipe from Team PTSC there saves them. Oh my god, that was hilarious. <laughs> oh gosh, Dark KS there, managing to get a good angle on the side there, making sure to get that snipe. Uh, unfortunately for Deimos, that's going to be a seventh place position, but definitely a good spot to put it put themselves in there. Definitely going to be uh, good for qualifying points there. And all these teams here in <laughs> trying to stay alive here. There's a lot of different elevations uh, for for this uh, final zone here, so you're going to see a lot of teams trying to do their best to just try to play angles and uh, make sure that they're the last team uh, rotating if they're on the higher ground there. Uh, we see Glizzy off in the corner getting some damage onto Dark Circle. Uh, but you see Chamoy's invisible player there getting finished off. And we also see uh, they KS there using the Vision Rose and try to stay a little, alive a little bit longer there. Um, DSTYB there. All three scanned there by Darks most likely. Final four teams. And that's going to be the last player from they KS here. We're going to get get an eye in on two darks here. They've got six kills there. We see an all-out aggression from, from, from DSTYB here. The Vision Erosion comes out here. Unfortunately, too young getting taken out there. King Better managing to stay alive there. Benja getting taken uh, almost full cracked on the shield. And darks getting a chance to heal here. Uh, it looks like Glizzy took that chance to get some damage on the fight there. And it's just going to be uh, the final two teams here. We've got DSTYB here versus Darks. And good damage coming out on the initial engagement here. It's just King Banner and all the players are so well there. He's got to get a shield swap here. Oh, he's not going to. He's got one, one player left. Oh, oh, so close there. Oh, my goodness. And just like that, second place. Retired for fun, but coming back and pulling off a second place there. Dark's doing a wonderful job, getting just great position there. They cleaned up the loot from Hollow there and then pushed in slowly from the edge of zone there. And just like that, they've uh, managed to secure themselves a victory uh, for the second qualifier for Sunder Saturdays. So um, they're going to be a team that's definitely going to be in the finals uh, come September 7th. Um, can't go wrong there. It was honestly such a great game there. All right, and hopefully it's going to get us into our, our uh, score here pretty soon there. Yeah, there we go. Um, absolute banger of an endgame there. Um, appreciate you guys all being in chat there, watching, hanging out, because uh, uh, it's definitely definitely a doozy right there, wasn't it? And s 10 kills for their uh, for their long game there. As you can see, they definitely had a bit of a, a fight in terms of their their, their game. Uh, uh, in term they had uh, two players knocked for at least a, a couple minutes there, so... 
Um, great job from ARYC there, uh, managing to probably survive the full time there, I'd imagine. Um, awesome uh, game there. But let's take a look as we move down the, uh, the the leaderboard there. Oh my gosh, look at Retired for fun there. 3.8k damage as, as, as just as a part of that trio there. Um, the rest of the lineup there, they have 6.1k damage between the three of them there. DSTYB. So it looks like there was maybe a knock for all the players on two, uh, on uh, Darks there because uh, all, all the players from DSTYB did have uh, slightly longer uh, live times there. I just want to check that there. Um, Glizzy also coming back from a, a bit of a retirement there, uh, playing for, maybe playing in Latam uh, otherwise, um, but uh, exciting to see a, a third place from them. Definitely going to see them in the finals there. And any of these teams in the top seven, there's a good chance that you're already probably in a pretty good spot there. So Chamoy and Rated E, um, probably feeling pretty great, managing to uh, pull off a fifth and sixth as a uh, as a solo to do there. Um, we see the AKS there, managing to come in with seven kills there. Deimos, a uh, fan favorite of mine there, coming in, in and seventh. And uh, as we go lower there, there's definitely going to be some teams here that we don't really expect to see quite so, uh, not quite so low, but uh, going out as early. Um, Hollow getting taken out there. Um, still pretty late in the game, but just unfortunately getting caught out uh, on the rotations there. Um, just so much open area between the uh, institution and Hydra area that you can get caught out uh, so easily if you don't have, uh, if you have too many people looking at you as well as if you don't have the, uh, the abilities to get out of there. Um, it's nice to see Bionics as a duo managed to get 11th there. Uh, Team Aku is a solo there. MYNX is another team that I hadn't seen in a while also returning, so great to see. Um, all around though, um, great showing from uh everyone who participated today honestly it was just such such a good time watching that match there uh, unfortunately for myself i didn't get to participate today so um getting to cast is just about as the, you know as good of an opportunity as it gets uh, in terms of firelight actions so um appreciate everyone uh tuning in and uh watching that uh, that match i've also got a redeem code for everyone so let me just post that real quick for you guys in uh general chat <clears throat> uh it's gonna be for diamonds and um Diamonds and uh, what's it called? Uh, gold. So make sure you redeem that one there. This is how you redeem it, guys. If you didn't know, I had to redeem it myself as well because you know I gotta get those. I gotta get those diamonds. Pick yourself the three uh, little bars here. It looks like kind of like an ice cream sandwich. Click that. Uh, click CD key, and then you paste it. Boom. If you've done it right, this is what should appear. Twenty diamonds, nine hundred and ninety-nine gold, and you get to celebrate. Uh, with uh, some rewards there uh, because of that. Um, for anyone who's uh, looking to potentially rewatch that match there, you can go open up the main your main uh, queue menu there, click the tournament replay tab. If you're on mobile, you'll have to scroll down to find it there and you'll be able to find the finals for that last match there. Um, just might not show up right away, but uh, if you're looking for any you know moments from your game, make sure you check that out as well as um, we have another qualifier next week, guys. So make sure that you're sticking around and playing uh, next week as well. Uh, coming on the 31st there, um, same time as this one here starts at 12 uh, p.m. PST, 2 p.m. CST, 3 p.m. EST. Um, I don't know any other time zones besides that, so go off of those ones there. Um, but uh, 12 and like I said, in this is PST UTC uh, minus seven. So if you know your UTC time zone, hopefully you can figure it out with that one there as well. Um, but uh, obviously, if you haven't qualified yet, or if you haven't been playing in these first two qualifiers, definitely take the chance to uh, get in that third qualifier and uh, you know just pop off, secure yourself. Uh, you know. A first place, a second place, a third place, and you've got yourself there for sure. And if not, uh, you can always, uh, you know, try to get less, you know, five, six, seventh, and kind of hope for the best there. Um, but uh, obviously, um, for the teams that played today, they're probably all feeling pretty good about themselves. They're getting a little bit of qualifying points. And uh, for uh, any teams that, uh, you know, have got those qualifying, have already qualified, you still have a chance to play next week there as well. Um, just to, you know, continue to make sure that you're practiced and uh, ready to play for the final weekend there. So, um, I appreciate everyone who's uh, shown up, everyone who's chatted, um, everyone's hanged out. Here's, uh, I've got to upgrade this, update this graphic, but this is uh, the Sunder Saturday graphic. It doesn't have the prize pool in it, but we uh, do have two, uh, we did have two contributions as well as a product sponsor uh, coming in. Uh, in terms of the actual financial sp like, uh, sponsor, we have uh, Gogula and Team Bionic uh, coming in huge. Is $60 at the prize pool. And then we also have the cave plan in there as well, uh, coming in with $30. Uh, so it's going to be $45, $30, $50 in, in terms of split for second, third. And uh, that prize may increase more if uh, we get any other further contributions. Um, another thing to note for the uh, grand finals is that we're also going to have a product sponsor. Um, 
I posted a while back in Discord that uh, the brand uh, Miano, uh, they sent out uh, a microphone and a, uh, a soundboard for me. And uh, it's been helping out my uh, quality of my stream and all that kind of stuff. So um, they've decided to, uh, you know, for the player who gets the most damage across the three matches in the BO3, we'll get a microphone from them. So um, definitely quite exciting. I'm uh, going to be posting more about that in Discord, but uh, um, you can't really go too wrong having an additional, you know, kind of sweat there. Um, play, playing for first, second, third, you know, if you're not in first, second, third, you could also, you know, be just uh, completely fragging out and have the most damage. So still having a chance to win something even outside of that is uh, going to be quite fun there as well. Um, so look forward to that and uh, yeah, besides that guys, I think that's uh, everything for me on my side here. Uh, make sure you're playing next week for the next qualifier. Uh, make sure you're playing in the rest of the Legend Stream events and stuff like that. There's a lot going on in terms of like Parlet Esports. Um, Cave, uh, the, the community over there has taken over in terms of Latam, Philippines, and uh, Mena in terms of uh, running events over there. So if you're ever looking to uh, maybe run your own event, uh, reach out to either you know, me or OP Mobile. Um, just because you can uh, you know, have a chance at uh, you know, running your own event. Why not, right? Um, if, you, if you're looking to run it in, uh, in, in uh, OP Mobile's uh, region's uh, per cave, um, I will re you know, make sure to forward you to and stuff like that. So, um, definitely, we're always looking to run events. Um, they're, they're so fun. You know, Farlight Esports is honestly just one of those things that is always so fun, so consistent, and you can't really go too wrong. And, uh, we got to get ourselves hyped up for the uh, next patch. Uh, obviously, the spectator system is going to be removed there, so I'm going to be taking my chance to cast as much as I can. And with that, guys, I think I'm going to call it. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I hope you all pop off in the rest of the Legend Streams events and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to find someone to host, and I will see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.